Hello everyone, I'm Red Herring, and I'm here to distract you. Welcome back to my Football Manager 2023 series, Non-League to Top League. Today we have a Bundesliga game against Bayern, um, and then a game in the Pockle, because we don't see many Pockle games. And this sort of landed about where I thought it was. There's no really decent games, and it's good to see Bayern, I guess, now and again. Currently we are top of the table, um, which is good. Um, we have been in good form. Um, even since the loss to PSG, um, we've been winning um, and not conceding many. Um, but you know that's going to mess up today and we're probably going to lose the Bayern game, I expect. Uh, hopefully we will bounce back for the Hertha Berlin game. Um, but yeah, we're coming back for here just to have a look. But at the moment, um, yeah, not doing too bad uh, altogether. Um, Tony's back, um, but uh, Luca has been really good. Uh, the youngster, um, be better than Nilberto um, when he's come in. So I've been really impressed with him. Uh, Pans has been okay for him. He's getting goals, he's getting assists. So I can't complain too much um, there. And Nilsson's come back and he is scoring goals which is really good because I was starting to worry we may struggle to score goals. Um, but as you can see, we have been scoring goals, which is nice. Um, but you know what's going to happen now. Now I've said all that, we won't score any goals and we can see loads. Um, they're playing a 4-2-3-1 with their scary forward up front. Um, and we're sticking to our 5-3-2. It's done well. Um, yep. Yeah. Um, I am doing a lot more rotating this season, which is uh, good for me. Don't usually do it because I don't like to take the risk, but it seems to be working so far. Again, touch wood. Um, yes. So, and Daniel's not being too bad out on that right-hand side. Uh, seems Cabs had an offer come in for him. I said we're selling at this price. He was sort of happy to sell at that price. No one made that offer, and since that's happened, he's been completely out of form. So that's why Daniel's been playing. This is a nice little bit of passing football here. Michael on his way burst through. I don't know why if he chipped that or it took a deflection there. I'm not too sure. That's a shame. Right. We started well. We've got the highlights. We've had the ball more. Looks like we might be building from the back again. Nikolic has it. Nice ball into Pans. Lovely through ball to Nilsson. Nilsson should go in and score this. He tries to dig the keeper and it's worked this time. Lovely goal, Nielsen. Sometimes I have a go at you for dinking it, but this time you've timed it to perfection. Nice pass from Pans. Thought he might get caught there, but he didn't. This time he does well, and yeah, just out of reach of the keeper. Lovely finish, and we're 1-0 up away from home as well against Bayern. Don't know why it's showing us again. He's well on side. And we are in control at the moment of this game, which is really, really good. Yeah, stopping them from shooting at all. We've still got possession. I say that in a, a few shots. Uh, Dortmund did win their game earlier, but they have lost a couple this season. As you can see, we are if we get this win, we are six points clear of them. Both these teams have been slipping up massively. Um, so that's why I don't want to slip up just yet. They've come back into this quite well, haven't they? Um, but we're still leading the way. No, I'm going to say I'm happy with our performances. Performance so far. Why would we say about the fans? Right. Their first highlight that I've seen with their right back. But we should have that comfy, comfortable Nikolic. Right. Good clearance up to the big man. Can he win it? No, he doesn't even challenge. I don't know why. Can we win the ball back? Go on, Colin. No, go on, Daniel. That's yours. Oh, he showed it to you, Daniel. I thought you would have had that. Again, is he going to show it to you? No, lovely ball over the top. And he's put it well wide. If they want to waste shots like that, that I'm more than happy for them to keep doing that. All right, never highlight. 55 minutes in clearance. Paul should have that comfortably. Probably could have headed that backwards towards the keeper. 
That's right. Win that, Miguel. Good header. Daniel out to him. Nope. Oh, nice little bit of pass and play. Was he offside? I think he was off. I reckon he was off. They're not celebrating. I can see. Disallowed, yes. I thought he was off. Yeah, well offside. Right, well, there's a few scares there, though, guys. So we need to still concentrate. Tony's not having a rest again. Colin, nice ball in. Find the clitch back post. We're two nil up. Come on, could be our season again this year. Really need to do well in the Champions League then, because this is starting to look quite comfortable at the moment. I know it's still early. I know it's not. A, it's not a sprint. It's a marathon. But we're we beat. Uh, Dortmund and we're now beating Bayern at their place as well Tony's not having a fantastic name nor is Daniel so we'll let Brian have a little run out then also I let let Lucas have a run out against the big boys uh, and Lucas have a run out as well actually so we can give him a bit of a rest give Tunes a bit of a rest but See how Luca gets on against uh, against uh, a big team. I'm not going to judge him straight away on this performance because we're running low on time. Who is knackered? Well, we'll probably maybe do a couple of these changes for the cup game. But who deserves a little bit of run out? You've not been playing that much football. Uh, so we'll bring you on for pans. And you probably do need a rest, really. So what we'll do is we'll move Nikolic to the middle. Uh, we'll give Jesus uh, some football. Only a few minutes left. There's not a massive amount of rest I get, but they get a bit of rest. There we go. Lovely ball in, though. A bit too overhit. Sorry, Brian has it, though. Plays it back to Goran. Ah, oh, Nikolic is injured, is he? Nielsen's injured, not Nikolic. Nielsen. Well, it's not long left. Hopefully, it's not a big injury. Right. Lovely ball back. Keeps it, has it. Miguel. Nikolic. Back to Miguel. Not, not long left. Brian. Gore. Nikolic. Miguel. Back to Keeps. Miguel. Brian. Lovely ball over to Luca. Can he finish it? He's made it 3 now. How are we doing this against uh, Bayern? What a lovely... And the youngster comes on as well, Luca. I know he has cost us a, a bit of money. I really hope Nielsen's injury is not too bad. But we have... Not really massively on the XG, but performance-wise, this happens to us all the time. Absolutely destroyed them there. Fantastic win. Wow. Six points clear at the top of the table. All right. Bit of rotating now for the Hertha Berlin game. Um, yeah, wow. So yeah, we've got a Herbal in game. Oh, what was his injury? So, people at loan, loan, KG performance. Two weeks! Ah, that is not great. Okay, okay, that's all right. That's all right. We're we're sort of out. We should be okay. We should be okay. Mm, a little bit annoying, but we should be okay. Right, I will see you at the uh, Hair to Berlin game. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the second game of today's episode, uh, which is in the Pockel away against Hair to Berlin. Um, as you see, when we get to the team, there has been a few changes. Um, of course, Emerson's had to come in up front because Nielsen is injured. I thought I'd give 
Luca the chance up front. Change in midfield, uh, change at right back, uh, right wing back because Brian uh, deserves a few games and a complete change in the defence. Bit risky probably, uh, but we have got the boys on the bench if we really, really need to. Um, but I'm confident it's nice to give the youngsters a little bit of a run out. Um, um, what well, I can't remember what I was going to say now. Yeah. So I just wouldn't mind giving them a little bit more of a run out uh, and see if they can do well themselves. Um, Hair to Berlin are playing a 4-3-3. Uh, three, three. Um, don't think they've got any of our old players. Uh, and we're, of course, sticking to our 5-3-2. So we have got players on the bench if we need to bring them on, if it's looking a bit uh, iffy. But I still have confidence in these teams. I've done this a couple of times um, in the, even in the Bundesliga, maybe not as against as good a team as Hertha Berlin, um, but I still think we've got the class there, the quality there, that we can still turn this out as a win. I wouldn't usually play Nico uh, in the centre of defence. Lucas is it. Lucas in. I think I found, because Tony's getting a bit of a sniff at the moment from some quite big teams. I think PSG was in, interested at one point. Now it's Chelsea, which I don't think they're as big a team as they used to be in this save, is what I'm trying to say. So they're not a big team now. I'm not saying that about anyone. So if he does go, we've got, a, looks like a really, really, really good replacement. A lovely finish there as well. Right. Oh, what a free kick! I'm not ashamed to concede that. Wow. I thought he's got no chance from there. I thought the Keeps has got this all day. Probably could have done a little bit better, the Keeps. But, yeah, you wouldn't stop in there, are you, really? Can't help that. Right. I hope that doesn't give them the confidence, though. It seems we had got off to a really good start. But, here, see, how we go. Tunes probably could have done a little bit better than that. I'm a bit iffy about the midfield because I am a bit worried that they might be a bit too inexperienced, but that's fine. We've picked it up now. Four guys got it. Out to Tunes. Nice pass back inside. Cross it over. And Luca scored again. Luca scored again. He might be. I, I might have to play him. I'm annoyed because I didn't want to register him for the Champions League because we. He didn't show this sort of form before the first Champions League game or before the, before the registration. So I thought, oh, Nilberto would be good enough back up. Because we have got Tony, but I'm so annoyed I haven't got... I couldn't register him for the Champions League. He's been absolutely fantastic so far. Uh, still staying at 2-0. Looks like we are keeping this game under control. Quite happy how things are going so far. Just need to catch. Oh, he's off. He's already got a yellow. Mm, Diego. It's not really proven to me that you are... Uh... That's right, because we have got Emerson who can play that role. We have done this before, and we've held out for a win. So, a whole half to go yet. Oh, unless they score now, and then it'll be 2-2. Two -two. Okay, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay. <sighs> okay. Hmm. That's not looking good because for some reason you are not having the best of games. Um, I've got a feeling behind that. We are dominating possession and stuff like that, though. Which I'm going to say we are controlling possession well. But I don't particularly want to go out of the pocket. But then I have taken a risk, so... This could be my own problem. So Brian finds Luca. He can't quite control it there. He is up there on his own now. Which is going to be a bit of an issue, I think. Right, win that, win that. And again, Colin probably should have... Oh, Luca! No, good block there from Colin again. He's on going on his own. Can he get a decent ball in? Find someone back into Colin. 
Out to Emerson from range. Oh, if that went in the top corner, that would have been amazing. But, all right. Not going to take Emerson off just yet. Or Brian. Brian's not having a very good game either, is he? All right, now we can look at some changes. Brian, you disappointed me, mate. So Daniel can come on. You're not playing the best of games. I don't know if it's worth just bringing Nico on, just Nikolic, just on to shore things up. Emerson, let's bring Pans on. He's a bit more experienced. And we'll leave it at that for the minute. Ten minutes plus injury time. They are coming back into it, but Tunes has it. Like Colin. We have a way, way past, but it's out. To, how has he got a yellow card away? Daniel has it. Tries to find Luca, Luca in the middle. Can't find Pans. Back to Colin. Out to, out to Tunes. Back to Pans. Back post. No, Luca. Tunes find Luca in the middle. No, it finds Pans instead. Luca gets in the way of it and nods it in. He wanted his hat trick. I got to play him, and I. It's so annoying the angle I'm in for the Champions League, though. So Tunes whips one in towards Pans. Pans heads it down, but Luca's there, knowing it's not going to go in. Gets in the way and nods it in. They're checking for offside now, are they? He's onside there, yeah, and he's onside for when they when they header it. Look, bang, fantastic. Oh, are we going to make it a fourth? Down to ten men, and we can make it a fourth. Colin. Keeps that, keeps that it. All right, easy, yes. Colin. Pans. Over to Daniel. Oh, he just miscontrols it, but he finds Luca. Look at a tiny little off uplift. Bat lift from his foot. And that went... Quite fast, isn't it? Oh, we found a good talent here. I know he's cost us a little bit of money, but what a performance! Absolutely fantastic from Luca. Accepts this fine, yeah. Does it say anything about praising? Yeah, it does. That's fine. I'll sort it out in a bit. So, absolutely fantastic. Six goals for you guys. Seven if you include the, the goal we concede. Um, yeah. Um, we're whiz now along. I was going to show you these two games, but then I realised it's Hertha Berlin again. So I might show you the Milan and the Dusseldorf game instead, but I'm not too sure yet because they're the ones before the window. Um... But yeah, so what we paid for um, is going to go up to 35 million, but that's l loads cheaper than what uh, Tony's cost us. Absolutely amazing. Uh, we did sign another youngster, 18 uh, year old, uh, for 3 million, and another guy going up to maybe 11.5. So again, a little bit much for a 17 year old, but again, he could be really, really good. Uh, building for the future there. Um, we've seen all the other ones. Anyone else that went out? No, mainly just uh, loans um, to show you to for you there. No one will sold. So I am spending a bit, bit of money. I want to try and recoup that back if we can. That may happy happen with the uh, the Tony sell um, if he does go. But that's because I will want a lot of money and I will want a lot of the money I've paid for him back because uh, he is that good. But. Really happy with that performance. Really happy if how things are going this season. We seem to be really clicking, even with the new guys coming in, uh, which is nice to see. So, as always, though, guys and girls, thank you for watching. Uh, please don't forget to like, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you again soon.